Hello, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I'm going to show you how to mine memory coin. So I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we want to go to ReviewOutlaw.com. And once we go there, we're going to go to How to Mine Memory Coin right here. Now I'm also going to put a direct link in the show notes. Um, here we have a little bit about what is memory coin and uh, some other details here but we're gonna go right into how to install it so what we're gonna do first we're gonna disable the antivirus why we're we disabling the antivirus is a lot of Bitcoin mining software pretty much all Bitcoin mining software comes up as a virus so uh, and the reason for that is a lot of botnets and virus makers embed that in their software but because you know your your um, altcoin mining or mining for memory coins we're going to need to disable that. Um, if you're ever testing software that you're not sure if it's a virus or not try the sandboxy software it will allow you to play around the software ahead of time. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click and disable Norton for about 15 minutes. Next thing we want to do is download the the wallet here. Uh, I'm going to click download wallet and that should take uh, about five ten minutes to get downloaded and installed. Now once it's installed, open it up right here. It might take a, a, a while for the block to first download um, and it'll say downloading blocks. It might even take a half an hour, hour to let that download. Once it's installed here you should see a zero balance. This is, I've already mined with the software half a coin so that's what that is. Um, so we're going to go to receive now and this is the address we want to receive the coins into. So what we're going to do is copy this address, right click and copy. So that's where we want to send the coins to. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to download the software. Uh, I prefer the EXE version, it's just simple. It adds a desktop icon and it will auto start with my computer. You can do the zip also, but you have to manually add a shortcut if, if you want to auto start it with the computer. So we're going to click download on that. So let that download and just click download. So I already have it downloaded. Um, so I'm going to open it up. What you're going to do after you download, just click next, 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 and something like this is going to pop up. So once this pops up here, uh, first thing we do is we're going to select the coin. Get a couple of different coins to choose from. We're going to mine memory coin. So now that we've picked the coin, we're going to uncheck if it's not already unchecked. Start program invisible, and we're going to select idle and not idle. This will test the software and allow us to see if everything's mining correctly. So you get a DOS screen like this pop up and it's saying the threads have started. Found solution, perfect. Everything's working great with that. I'm going to stop that. I'm going to go back to general and I'm going to paste in, right click and paste the new address that I wanted to um, put into. So this should now be your address. You should have mem memory coin selected here and we're going to also change back to invisible but I prefer so I don't see the DOS screen and click only run when idle. That's my preferences. You can make your own choices based on your PC. So now we're going to click run and you'll see here Donald's mining away for you. Now you can actually close this program out. It's going to run in the background and um, I've selected to only run when idle so when I'm moving my mouse it's not going to run and when I stop for about 10 seconds it's going to start the mining program up. Um, that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them at the bottom here. Also, if you get a couple of minutes to spare, please give me a like, tweet, uh, plus one. That would be very helpful. And if you're also interested in mining some of the other coins, uh, it's pretty much the same steps that we just did here, but instead you're just choosing a different wallet and uh, choose that different coin. Um, the last thing we want to do, which is going to be pretty important, is once my antivirus turns back on in 10 minutes from now, um, we're going to need to exclude basically that folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to 
this folder right here, C program files. We're going to copy this. This is where all the miners are kept. Mining program. And I'm going to open up Norton here. And you're going to go to settings and items to exclude from scans. I'm going to basically add this folder in as a folder to exclude, which already has been excluded for me. And same thing on the second option. Depending on your antivirus, you're going to exclude it from auto protect. Anything that says exclude, exclude that folder. Click OK. And now it would be fine to turn the antivirus back on. You might get a pop up saying um, this program is using your CPU usage, but that's fine. Um, that's no problem at all. So if you have any other questions, feel free to let me know, but that should be about it. Thank you.